just to kind of launch things off, last time I was here, we talked about the EIBL and the PPP. Um, and, um, you know, for business owners, um, <laughs> they, they released a new update today on the EIBL. And it's basically being officially named Targeted EIBL Advance. And uh, what we were waiting for last time we talked was for the portal to open up so that people could go in and apply. Well, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. It looks like what's the, what they're going to be doing, what the SBA is going to do, is they're going to be reaching out to the people who applied last year because you, you had to put in your contact. So they're going to be sending an email. It's going to be coming from sba.gov, so at sba.gov. If you receive an email from at sba.gov, you know that's from the SBA. And that email is going to advise you that you qualify to apply to get the rest of the grant. So the first group of people they're gonna be um, trying to communicate with is gonna be uh, folks that applied and did not get the full $10,000 on the EIDL grant last year. Um, maybe you got a thousand or you got 5,000. Um, and so they're gonna reach out to you via email if you're in that group so that you can apply to get the full 10,000, to get the balance of that, what you didn't get. And then once that's done, um, they're going to be sending another group of emails to those of you who applied and either funds ran out or you didn't and you didn't get the money. Um, and as a result, um, they're going to give you a chance to go ahead and um, not reapply, but basically complete your application and get that full 10. Um, now, it's a little bit odd because on the website on SBA, even though they're saying everyone's going to get the full 10, they have a little play on words. Um, which is it says up to 10,000. So anytime you see something like that, that does give them that wiggle room so that they can retract. And hopefully that's not what's going to happen, but that is what happened last year. They said everyone would get 10 and then it ended up being only a thousand dollars per employee. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so first batch it's, and it's probably going to be about three, three weeks or so for that first batch of people. Who applied got something didn't get the full 10 to try to get the difference they're going to email you to notify you they they very loudly and in bold letters say do not apply again do not resubmit we will be emailing you um so again look out for that and then the second batch are people who did not uh, get anything but did apply and then once that's done then they're going to go ahead and open it up to new people uh so that might be you know who knows within the next uh 30 to 45 days. Um, so if you're waiting for the EIDL portal to open to apply, that's what's going on. You're, you're not going to be able to do that. You're going to get that email. So look out for that. The PPP loan is still uh, open. It's going to be open until the end of March. So if you uh, lost 25% in revenue last year in either a quarter or for the entire year of 2020, and you just have to prove one quarter or for the entire year compared to 2019, you can qualify for the new round two of the PPP loan. If you never got approved and funded for the first round of the PPP loan, you can actually apply for the first round now, get that, and then later potentially apply for the second round as well. If you already got the first round, you can now apply again for the second round. And guys, the reason this is such powerful information for everyone is because the grant is a grant. And so that's not a loan you have to pay back. And the PPP loan, if you use it properly, is 100% forgiven. So, you know, we're not talking about debt or an interest rate. We're talking about money. You know, I can't call the PPP loan a grant because it is a loan, effectively, that ultimately, if you use it properly, will can be forgiven. So it's kind of packaged like a grant. But if you don't use it properly, there it will be a loan. Um, and so, you know, if you're a business owner, and you fit, fit into these categories, um, take advantage of this opportunity. This is your tax money coming back to you. So take advantage of it. Um, again, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, you can um, reach me at my email, seb, S-E-B, at orange, like the fruit, fi, F-I dot com. Send me an email. You can also call me directly at 954-932. 0800. Zero, zero. Happy to help. Okay. Appreciate that.
If I don't answer, leave me a message, send me a text, and I will get back to you. You can text me on that number. Please don't do that after 9 p.m. Eastern. I appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate you being very transparent and giving your information out like that. It's, you know, very bold. Yeah. But, um, so to clarify, uh, with the PPP, it's open till March of this year, 2021. You have to have mm -hmm. had 25% loss in revenue. Could potentially be 100% forgiven if used properly, right? And is this the one where the they'll take care of your first eight payments if you get approved? No, that's going to be an SBA 7A loan. That's the SBA 7A loan. Got it. All right. I just want to make sure I rewrite everything. So SBA 7A. Right. So that's basically your typical standard SBA loan. That could be used for startups, expansion, equipment. Uh, it could be used for debt uh, restructuring as well. If you have bad business debt, um, you can restructure debt with an SBA 7A. Um, so there's a lot of potential uses for it. Um, but um, the government, the, the SBA is going to pay for eight months of your, fir your first eight months payments are covered. Got it. Cool. And that is something they go on the website and they can apply for. No, that is going to be through an SBA bank. So okay. you would reach out to me and then I would uh, see if you could qualify. I, we go through a little interview uh -huh. and, um, and then from there, if you could qualify, then I'd uh, help place you with the right SBA bank. That would be a bit, a good fit for you. So that is not through the government. That is through an right. SBA bank. Um, the one that's through the government is the EIBO. Right. This is government only yeah that's through the sba portal but again right now they're only going to be emailing for you to, to do that um I, on the ppp the 25 percent loss that actually only applies to the round two version of the ppp okay not the round one so that does not apply to round one meaning if you did not apply and get a last and get a ppp loan last year and you're going to apply this year you're technically applying round one so the same rules that applied last year for round one apply to that round one. Now, this is for round two, meaning you already got a PPP loan and you're going to try to get another PPP loan. So that's where the 25% loss comes in between 2020 and 2019 or one quarter in 2020 versus the same quarter in 2019. Otherwise, you just have to be um, able to show payroll for the round one version, you just have to be able to show payroll. Um, you didn't; they didn't require to prove a loss at that time. Got it. Awesome. And uh, yeah, thanks for writing that. Beware of scams. Do not pay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just wanted to reiterate that to everybody, making sure I'm putting out this content so that people see. Listen, beware of scams. It's the government themselves that's handing out the EIDL, the PPPs. And with SBA, the 7A loan, you have to go through uh, someone like a Sebastian that can help you walk you through the process. He's not going to charge you for this. Right. I nor, don't charge that. Nor, nor should anyone else be charging you and saying, yeah, we're going we're to get you 100 grand in free money from the government and pay us $3,000 right. or $2,000. That, that would be a scam. Got it. Uh, a, lot, a lot of people might hear that and get mad because we're, you know, spoiling their parade, but nice. that is the case. An SBA 7A is a little different uh, that you can charge for. Um, so as, a, as an authorized agent for the banks, I could charge a fee for the SBA 7A loan, but nice. I don't. I don't. Okay. So that's good to know. I appreciate the transparency on that. I think the big thing is over here, not really. Right. The, exactly. The PPP, yeah. Because the PPP and the IDL, exactly, are tied to the cares act and um um uh, and there's you know, a protocol the pandemic right there's a protocol with it in terms of how much you can actually receive based on how much you make and Correct. business and revenues and employees and things like that exactly uh, you know i had a client that did get scammed from this so that's why i'm being you know letting people know listen keep your keep your eyes open beware no need to pay for this. The information's right here. You can search it up yourself. You can work with someone like Sebastian and walk you through the process and make it happen. That's right. And you might want to put the, the landing page for the PPP um, for, for anyone who does want to apply. 
Again, that was um, orangefi.us forward slash PPP dash Denzel. 